serious so instead I'll just play video games basketball video games and collect basketball cards basically I was a basketball nerd so um, what I can say with that my mind was always set that I wanted to be a basketball player no matter where it was or what kind of level it was but again all of that was because of hard work if you want to play basketball or you want to play any sport and you want to get a scholarship to go to a, a, a good high school or a major college you need good grades. If you don't have good grades, then all this that you see on the screen was not possible. Family and some of the kids in the neighborhood didn't believe in me. Um, they would always see me practice and they would always see me doing drills, all the running stuff, all that training, whatever. And they didn't take me serious. But in my mind, I was focused and I knew that that objective of me training and being focused and doing my schoolwork, that another day, it was going to pay off. So, going back to that, um, the reason why I have this presentation is because with all the hard work and all the, all the goals and accomplishments that I did, the main one for me was my own book. It's called, like the title in the, in the page, it says, if I, if I can, you can. So basically, you know, it's a story of, you know, from when I was a kid until now, until basically last year. Um, the book is not published yet by any major, you know, illustrator or... To make this book is because of my daughter, Leah Perez. She loves when her mother and I read her books for bedtime. She listens to the entire story before closing her eyes to sleep. Hope everyone enjoys it and understand that in life we all go through struggles. We must keep fighting to overcome all of our downfalls in life. Thanks to all, thanks to all who believe in me, especially to God, my family, friends and all. So basically, this is my book. If I can, you can. So I hope you guys... I didn't say the whole story, but I just gave you guys details of my book. So I hope you guys liked it. Uh, 
uh, I have to say, uh, you guys saw the video. If there's one scene you should take away from that video, I want you to remember this one. And Roman mentioned it when he was running through the river and fell. What did he do? Did he stay there and cry? No. What did he do? He got up and kept going. And then you know what happened? He fell again. What did he do? He got up and kept going. And if there's anything to take away from this today, that's it. Don't stop because you can't do that problem in math. Don't stop because this word's a little bit too hard. Forge through it. Do your best. You can't do it alone, ask for help. But don't push it to the side and say, I can't. Remember his book, If I Can, You Can. Very important, so I want you to think about that. We all love basketball and it's fun to watch. There's a lot of work that goes behind that. How many of you see ducks on the water in the pond? It looks so beautiful, right? You know how much work it takes for that duck to get through that water? You don't see the little feet underneath going 100 miles an hour. Okay? So to make something look beautiful sometimes takes a lot of work. Okay? So, yeah. Yes, we're taking questions. Who would like to ask questions, please? You know what? Take 30 seconds, hands down. Think to yourself, do I have a really good question? Okay, if you have a question, raise your hand. I'm going to set them up here. Yep. Why is basketball important? Basketball, well, for me, basketball is important for me because it's like earth. You see, earth is round, basketball is round. For me, it's like a unity. It's, I have friends in Japan, friends in Spain, I have friends all over the world. So the basketball, it unites us. So that's why I think basketball is important for me. <laughs> so basically, to summarize everything, you know, again, I'm gonna let you guys know that school is important. You know, your education comes first. If your education comes first, whatever you wanna accomplish, which is basketball or anything you wanna do, then you will accomplish it. Listen to your parents and listen to your teachers, please. Take this advice. What you guys seen in the video, this book, and whatever, is only accomplished by listening to adults, listening to your parents and your teachers. They only want the best from you, okay? Um, hard work. Whatever you choose, if you want to be a guitar player, make sure you practice a lot. Make sure that even though you're not good, and somebody's telling you that you're not good, make sure you take, you take your own advice and you say that you are good. Because if you tell yourself that you are good, eventually you will be good. Um, what I just said right now, you will be good. It's just like my book says, if I can, you can. And that basically summarizes it. Um, I have a gift for every student here. So if you guys can, uh, how will we do it? Make a line or probably give it to the teachers. All right, sounds good. So I'll have your teachers come up. I have my own personal basketball cards and I signed it for you guys. So you guys can have, all right. So thank you so much guys and hope you guys like it.